All right, so I'm going to try to shoot a video here on the uh, Yamaha RN602. I just bought this uh, used at a pawn shop a couple of days ago when I've been playing around with it, I'm trying to get familiar with uh, how it works. The goal is to use it in the garage with the uh, Bluetooth music or USB music. A bit different to me. I'm used to, use having, used to having a music server available, but it's not going to be the case. I prefer to have uh, stereo receivers for music. I've had a, got an AV receiver at my uh, home and it's got seven channel stereo on it. It does not sound very good. So uh, I did some research and I found out that this thing was pretty good. I was pretty surprised to find out a pawn shop, so I bought it. Got a pretty good deal on it because nobody really wanted to get a stereo receiver. So uh, I guess we'll go through how to do a couple different things on it. So uh, one thing you'll find out is that you do need to have the remote. There's a setup button on the remote right there, and you cannot do all of your setup through the uh, front of the uh, receiver, unfortunately. So if you're going to buy one of these, make sure it has a remote. So uh, right now we're set up on the uh, FM. So we're going to go to a USB stick that I've got here. See if I can see the cursor through the uh, screen. Not really. All right, I need to go up a little bit. So I got some music on here. So the cool thing is these people are all my relatives, so I get lots of good music I can listen to whenever I want to. So I uh, put that on a USB stick. So we'll pull that out. Put that into the uh, slot here. I think it'll pop up, says USB connected. I had a problem with uh, the phones. I'm using an Apple 4S right now to do fi the filming. Got an Asus Android for phone there as well. And uh, I've had some issues. So anyway, I'm going to flip this thing over to a USB. I'll just use a remote so my hand's not in the way all the time. So we'll go to the USB. Reads it. So let's see if we can navigate through here. Alright, so we've got different bands that are showing up here. System volume is like the uh, root directory of the uh, USB stick. Like if you wait long enough this will roll by here. We'll see. Yeah, so it actually has three dots in it. So system of down, cranberries, white stripes, granicolese, corn, different things here. I try to listen to all kinds of different music most part there's a, a few things I don't listen to so uh, I don't have any speakers hooked up to it and that's not a problem because realistically if I was to start playing music here I'd have all kinds of uh, problems with uh, YouTube so let's skip that so say we're on Smashing Pumpkins so we push the center button go to live 1993 that's actually a directory to scan and info so we'll uh, do start playing. You do that by pressing enter. There's a, a pause here if you want to pause. The good thing is you can repeat different ways. So you can repeat off, repeat one, or you can repeat the whole directory. And I've gone through this and tried it a couple times and it works. So you can jog your way through. So second song or track is quiet today different things on here that works quite well now I'm going to unplug my uh, Android phone and uh, try to plug it in see if we can see it or not probably not but the uh, USB port is rated for one app which is not really enough so see if this does what I think it's going to do not supported. I'm going to share. See if you can get any further than that or not. Maybe. I just put a bit of music on here. Not working at the moment. Let's try that again quick, see if we can get it to work. Yeah, 
guess on there quick. I suspect you could probably get this to work, but uh, I haven't played with it too much. Now, I have plugged in the um, Apple phone here, and it starts clicking. It goes over one amp, and it trips out the uh, USB. So I'm not going to do that. So I guess uh, the next step is we'll try to do some network functions on here. So I'm going to use the remote. This runs on uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, I can't get onto a real network with it. So we'll go into network. You can have different kinds of connections, so hit enter. So I'm on wireless direct right now. You can go wireless, wired. The wireless, you can do like WPS on it. You can actually grab setting files directly from a... Uh, iPhone here, which is share settings or manual settings, you can punch it in. But uh, we're going to go back one, go wireless direct. So we're going to make our own like baby network with this thing. So the SSD is set, can't do anything with it. Security, none is good enough. What I found is that when you have the uh, radio off using the off button on the uh, remote you can wake up the uh, receiver by trying to stream music to it whereas if you push the off button here that is a real hard button and it turns everything off it is a, a permanent kind of off so we're gonna hit enter this is gonna set up like a local network so now I'm going to try to jump onto that network so you can see hopefully you can see that that is the device so it's RN602 and then some uh, six digit number after that now it doesn't really know what's going on Windows was always trying to get on the internet so uh, anyway, pop over here to uh, my computer and you should be able to refresh this and get the uh, unit to come up. I'm surprised it's not showing here. Very surprised. So this worked. Aha, you gotta go to click on network. So I renamed this thing Heroin Bob. It's a character from a movie that I kind of enjoy. So if you right click on here, you can go to media streaming options and you can uh, tell your computer yes, you want to stream to this thing. Right click it again. You can go to properties. You can see some kind of a serial number. I don't know what that is and it gives you your Mac. You can see the Mac by looking uh, on the faceplate of the device as well. You can pop up the uh, web browser here so you can change your network name. This is the name on the network. It's not your SSID. SSID is set hard. You can set some different settings. I imagine this is not going to be very much in focus for you which is unfortunate but anyway you get AirPlay password you can update your firmware. I'm at 1.28. You can adjust some standby settings for Bluetooth and uh, network. Your Mac filters, I guess if you want to block people. And uh, something about licenses. Rather unimportant. But anyway, so I've already allowed this to share. So we're going to take a look here. And what I've read on the internet is that this is kind of... Uh, slow process so I'm going to pick from the remote net so that server is basically whatever you're hooked up to I don't know who Richard Marks is but anyway that's the computer name so you click uh, enter on the computer name and you're going to music and uh, I guess you can pick different ways. We'll go through by album. So
so it's actually kind of quick. I tried this yesterday. This was a uh, rather slow. If you wait, this will scroll by. I'm not really sure what uh, album this is, but I guess we'll find out here in a second. Poughkeepsie. Must be a long last relative I don't remember about. So you can motor through this. If you've got like a 10 terabytes of music, this could be quite painful. So there is another option. You can go to your computer. You can go and find some music somewhere on said computer. I'll put the USB stick back in rather than delving in through my file structure. Open up here. Go to Bare Naked Ladies. So this is FLAC. You can play FLAC off USB in the uh, device here. You play MP3. So you right click on this and you will go to Cast to Device and you can pick your machine. With any luck, we will see the old apartment pop up here. Something is happening. You might have to press enter to uh, get the screen to show up. I had some limited success with this. If I actually had a, a way of listening right now. There, I double clicked it. I'm going to press sideways. I don't know. Is it playing music? I don't know. This would kind of work on my television. Probably work on here as well. But really the goal was to show that you can uh, stream different ways. So I guess the uh, next thing we'll look at is uh, Bluetooth. I'm going to try to do Bluetooth on the Android because uh, I'm filming with the uh, iPhone. The iPhone certainly works. So you push the uh, Bluetooth button or you could go through your uh, inputs on here. Bluetooth. So I'm just going to get Bluetooth up here. Should be able to find. Yeah, the first one is the uh, radio. Sorry, it's not going to be focused. Cameras are always seem to be very nearsighted or whatever. So I'm just going to scroll through this device here and see if I can get something to come up. It works pretty easily with the uh, iPhone. Now something should come up here when we connect. So it's trying to connect right now.
trying to pair with it right now. It thinks it's like a pair of headphones or something. Connected. All right. Something's happening. It's playing the music. So this is uh, Guns N' Roses here. So I can swipe through and different songs pop up. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I think that'll work uh, just as well as uh, hooking up with uh, USB, if not a, a little bit better. So I'm in the garage. The plan is that I'm going to put the, the remote in a Ziploc bag, then I have the phone kicking around somewhere playing music. I could uh, play music off of the laptop. I've got to figure out a little bit more as to how this works. So I just double click that and it, it kicked off uh, Bluetooth and it went to server. So I've got a feeling that this is actually playing. But not. it's just not sending the uh, music details through. See, there's a playlist, nothing. Maybe I like to go by albums, but I've put so much music on this thing. That it's kind of difficult. You might want to limit what's available if you're going to go that route. So I can't really show you the uh, other network stuff, like, uh, let's go through them here. Net radio and whatever this stuff is. I haven't gotten the uh, music cast to work as of yet. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But I think uh, there might be other videos available on that already. So what else is there to talk about? The knob is actually nice and restrictive. You couldn't flick this all the way up to zero dB. It's uh, that's pretty cool. I like the touch and feel of that. It's got the pure direct, so it doesn't screw with your music. It plays it the way it's supposed to be played. Why the display goes out, I'm not too sure. Maybe it be, it's trying to pretend that none of the data is going through the display. I don't know. You got A and B speakers. These buttons uh, are also on the uh, remote. If you had a couple of different zones, I'm going to turn this off. So it's off just with the remote button. Let's see if we can wake it up. I'll try to zoom. I better not tilt it sideways. So I'll try to play one week. We're going to cast this to the machine. Let's see what happens. It woke it up. So you might want to have a, a password on your receiver. Otherwise, if you are got transients going by to find this thing, they could blow your speakers up, I think. So you probably crank it up pretty good without you ever being involved. So uh, watch out for that. I don't know if we can get the volume to roll or not. I did notice, oh yes, so I just flipped that up there. You can move the uh, volume and it changes here, so definitely leave a password if you got some good speakers kicking around, otherwise they could get destroyed. So that's about 20 minutes now, I'm not going to show you the back of the machine. Not going to show you uh, the unboxing because that never happened to me. I just bought it the way you see it here. I think uh, that's probably it. Now we'll go to the AM FM. That's the other reason I bought this. I didn't want to get a pure amp because I like to listen to the radio sometimes. I don't have an antenna attached to it, but you can uh, hold the uh, tuning button. If you hold it in, it'll go to auto tune, it'll hunt. Now you can also go to uh, mono or stereo. 
you can switch bands here somewhere and then tuning again you can get it to hunt and it's not going to find anything it just does one round it doesn't go searching forever till you forget about it and then scare you to death 20 minutes later when it actually gets a signal I don't recall if AM has stereo or not. It probably doesn't. Alright, so the mode doesn't work on that. Display. You can change the dimmer. Go all the way back. I think that's about it. So anyway, hopefully the video was somewhat useful. I'll try to do something a little bit different than what uh, I'd seen online so far might be a little bit more applicable to some people maybe I'm using this completely different than everybody else but this is the kind of stuff that I was interested in I'm going to be in a location where I don't have any network it's just going to be this thing and USB sticks and then a phone without a data plan to play music so I think it works pretty good rather than having a media center or a laptop kick, laptop kicking around I can just uh, have the one box have it in my toolbox lock it up when I'm not using it have speakers attached to the toolbox and push it around and be able to use it. So uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Anyway, have a good day.